Let's dance in Behind movie scene Behind the movie scene Sadi Rani She's the one that keeps the dream alive From the morning past the evening To the end of the life Brilliant fool of Asher on the 45 Well, it's a brilliant fool of Asher on the 45 Brilliant fool When we were passing through the village seeing how little the, the uh, people in the villages have and how they are still really happy with themselves and what they've got and just get on with life for all smiles. As we were passing through, they were all waving and smiling and saying hello. And uh, it just makes you think and realise that we take stuff for granted back home and that we shouldn't really. We've got a lot more than these have. We've got to look at See there, we've got a sort of mould eruption there. It's only ash. It's only gas coming out the top of the um, top of the new volcanic peak. All right, Mount Bromo over there. What can I say? It's been an experience so far. Um, let's say the last two days have pushed me to my limits, and I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I didn't think I was going to survive, but I have done. Thanks to the lovely Darren Mitchell singing along the way um, with his version of Abracadabra. Um, I don't quite know what I'd have done without him, to be honest with you. Um, it's been an amazing experience, and I can't believe that it was raining ash on us yesterday. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to experience that again, um, and it really was truly amazing. Um, everybody's getting on really, really well. Um, we're having a good laugh, sitting around the campfire. Um, getting blinded by the smoke and doing stupid dances to try and keep warm. Um, not mentioning any names in particular. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going really, really well and I really think Phil has done a fantastic job so far. Yeah, so um, we're here in Indonesia. It's lovely, cold, stars are out. Um, we've just been trekking most of the days. We've been up to the volcano and it's a killer. Don't ever do it. If everyone says, oh, come hiking, don't. Just don't do it. It kills. You should see Miss Evans, it was shocking. It took us, what, four or five hours to get up there? Got up there. Minus two temperatures. Had to camp out. I, do I look like the camping type? No, I don't. I'm from London. I don't camp. So I'm up there freezing. And it was shocking. We just come back down today, which was, it was a bit weird because we went up there and one coming back down, it's like, did we go this route? It looks completely different, but it's easier now. We've got a campfire set up, to be fair. And anything else I want to talk about? Prompt. Prompt. How's the food been for you? Oh, the food, yeah. Rice. Lots and lots of rice, you know. If you ever want to come to a country and have rice, well, here we are, Indonesia. No, the food's been all right, to be fair. Just. So what's the best bit of the trip been for you so far? Um, the jeeps going up to the, uh, to the actual like the jeep, the jeep ride yeah to the jeep ride to the um, national the, park yeah to the national park it was amazing it just it was like wow we're going in a jeep the back of the jeep it was immense so how are you coping with the uh, temperature then I don't do cold you don't do cold I do not do cold whatsoever I'm freezing it's horrible but it's an experience to be fair and it's just got to be done it's, it's all good it should go well I'm, I'm pleased with it because I could like go home today and still say I've had a great time and it's just the start of the week so more to come. <laughs>
Geography 101. Go for it. You ready? Take one. Right, and so, right, what we've got here, we're in an old crater, all right? And all this here would have been the volcano. Right up there, you can see the sides of the volcano going all the way around. All right, what's happened is um, the magma chamber underneath here, or right, under the ground, has let all its mag magma lava out, or the lava has sunk further down, which has caused the old summit, the old peak, to sink down. All right, so now you've got this, this called a caldera, all right, with basically the remains of an old crater. It's full of, sorry, it's full of ash, all right, that is full, jam-packed full of nutrients, full of nutrients. Now, you might think, well, if it's full of nutrients, why isn't this full of vegetation? Well, two reasons. One, because it gets a lot of ash rain down on it from the other, from the new main summit. Secondly, it's got no moisture in it. So plants can't grow, no moisture, no stability, so nothing can take hold. Which is rock, alright, and it's just got inside thousands and thousands of bubbles, which is why it's very light. Alright, very light pumice. Alright, um, what else can I say about it? Over there, alright, where you can see the steam over here, this is uh, obviously the main, the main new summit, the main new vent is the one that the guys climbed in. That there is one that we're going to go and visit and look down into. That is what we call a subsidiary cone. It's a cone that comes out the side, a little baby cone. Called, some people call it a side vent. It comes out the side of the volcano, and that's the one we're going to be going to look at. 45 Well, it's a free and brutal That you're on the 45 And dancing Behind movie scenes Behind those movie screens Asher Barsley She's the one that keeps the dream alive From the morning past the evening To the end of the life Free and brutal That you're on the 45 Well, it's a free and brutal That you're on the So um, the first primary school, uh, these are all primary school age kids, we're going to go in now and sort of make contact to sort of start properly tomorrow, um, do a bit of English teaching and sort of just generally get to know them and all that sort of stuff, so it'll be quite nice, so we'll get going. 